Ladies and gentlemen, in all honesty, it hurts to see you cry. Got something I'd like to say. In all honesty, if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. In all honesty, in all honesty if, I could, if, I could, if I could, I would have, but I, you know. In all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, if all honesty, in my opinion, honestly, one of the better things that I've written, in all honesty, <laughs> in all honesty, I, I want to, because it's appropriate for what I'm doing this video for, and I didn't even realize it when I said I was going to start it off with, in all honesty, there are a lot of people out there who are, let's do this, e -E -O -N. we're talking about Eon, I don't know why, Eon hasn't done anything to any of these people, now there's some people who have something positive to say, there are a lot of people who have something negative to say, and you know what your mama used to say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, shut the up, okay, well they don't know how to, okay, matter of fact, where's the other one, I'm looking for Eon too, so I don't want just the, see these are all Eons, e Eons ago, I, I don't want those Eons, I want, see I, it doesn't even show up anymore, so we have to go to, there, there are three different Eons, two of them they took off, so that's why we have to tell you about Eon too. No, I said Eon too. I didn't say no. Eon earphones? What the? Okay, so I guess Eon 2 doesn't exist anymore. I guess they got rid of that. So let's find out about Eon 1. Yep, they got rid of Eon 2, y'all. Sorry about that. Leave it up to YouTube. This is Eon 1. If you want to um, get old videos, Eon 1. So let's go to Eon 1. Okay. And the reason why we're going to Eon 1 is because I think this one might have it. Give me one second. It says seven years ago. That definitely, 2012 is not no seven years ago. No, this website was created seven, this uh, channel was created seven years ago. And so let me see if it has what I want. No, no, this this has the world is a ghetto at the beginning. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I ain't gonna waste y'all time like that. Okay, I guess I can prove my point this way. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people who... I ain't never heard of no Eon. I just found your videos. That's because I went by Redress Right, and someone decided that they wanted to take over that account, and this is somebody I trusted, and they took over the account. And Google wouldn't do anything about it. So I lost that account. So I couldn't do anything about that. So, and then through divine providence, I am Eon. So was redress right, but since 2015, Eon. Ladies and gentlemen, what I was gonna do is I, I the videos are still here. They're even on the regular Eon channel, but I came all the way back here to point out something. This is. 11 20 2012 let me see let me maybe this has the intro i'm looking for don't know i can't tell we'll find out in just a second ah this is a call to the u.s treasury department ladies and gentlemen hi this is robert masterson i just wanted now, to let you know the unique thing about this right here every voice is me that's what I liked about that time. I, I had that in me. I don't have that in me now, ladies and gentlemen, to do that. But to have every one of those voices be me. Here's another one. Let's do this one. Now, this is April 2012. At Redress Commission. The legal redress. Commission. The legal redress. Commission. The legal redress. Commission. Sorry, I. You have no idea how much memories that brings back. Putting that junk together. That was 
one track after another track. Oh, this was before we had all those audio software. Remember, this is 2012. So I literally had to work to put that together. That's when I used to work on my intros. Don't do that anymore. Uh, the Legal Redress Commission, I imploded that organization. Okay, and the reason why I did it is because the person proved to be very untrustworthy. He was taking money from people in my name, telling people I authorize things I ain't near authorized. Lord have mercy. No way on this planet. So, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are new to my channel. Another message from me to you. Now, I want all of you to understand something. Oh, come together like butt so cheeks. That That's this one right here. What's going on? We know that when we walk into the court, when we walk into the building, the first thing we do is we give consent. The first thing you do when you go into court is you give consent. And you walk through that metal detector, you allow them to search you. That's right, there is no law saying you have to go through a metal detector. You have to consent to the medical metal metal detector. That's how you're entering into an agreement. You did it. I didn't. Okay. Going all the way back to June of that year. I'm trying to find one intro. So I'm going to have to put y'all back on pause because that's where I'm going to explain everything. Hey, proof the hour style tr money orders, treasury money orders, EFP. But what? here's the thing. This is, this is, a, this is a different one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pause y'all for a second. But we don't do the hour style money orders with the treasury routing number anymore. We told you guys that way back seven years ago to stop doing that. Now, I can do it, but you guys can't. Why? Because you won't know how to get yourself out of that. So don't use routing numbers anymore. You don't have to. All right, I'll be right back. We're going to talk about Trump and somebody attempting to shoot him or attempting to shoot him or blah, 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 blah. It literally was the next video I clicked on. So I want y'all to hear this intro because this is talking about the time we're living in now, where we're headed to. Now, when I tell you that I've seen this, this was done in 2011, roughly about October of 2011, this intro was done. I want you guys to pay attention to what he's saying in the intro. One second. Okay, you men. Be quiet. They're right there. They know they're here. It's a redress. Commission. Hear something. At redress right now. At redress right now. Alright, we just right back. Right 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 we just right, right, right back. I know you're oh, right now. Mommy! Mommy! That's we just right back. Quiet, be quiet. Right 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 back up. That's we just right back. I want to search this area. Why does everybody have a bomb? Right here. That's we just right back. Look, isn't that the subject right now? Everybody have a bomb? North Korea? Iran? As Fuller? I want this whole area quarantined now. Nobody is to leave this area at all. Find them. I know you heard that. Find them. Find them now. Find them now. And here's the. All voices done by the Legal Redress Commission. None of this material is copywritten. Feel, Feel free, free to, to use, use it as, as you please. please. Pretty good, Pretty good huh? Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and uh, gentlemen. I, I, I don't do that. Don't do that. We're, we're not doing that, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Almost 20,000 videos since 2010. Many of the videos, none of the videos, I cannot find a single video that was done in 2011. They're all gone. YouTube has taken them all down. That's where the crux of the information is. That's where all of the information was because when I got started, my job was to, and I considered it my job, was to clear up some of the misinformation that was being given out there. There was a lot of stuff people were saying that I knew wasn't true because I had already known the answer. Now look, 
I'm different from all the other YouTubers. I don't want to be different. I am different. I don't claim to be different. I am different. And I'm grateful for that. And I'm not different. Oh, she's different from her, and he's different from her, and he's different from him, and she's different from him, and, and they're different, and all of, everybody's different. I'm not talking about that different, moron. I'm talking about my information doesn't come from me studying. Yes, yes, when I was younger, I studied things, but I haven't studied studied anything. I studied arbitration in 2018, not because I didn't know about arbitration, but I wanted to know about the Arbitration Act of 1925 and the Federal Arbitration Act of 1946 or 48, whatever year they came up with that junk, because I don't really care about that one. I care about the original one. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> excuse me, just so that you guys understand, I'm not regurgitating what I hear somebody else say. I've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this for too long. So when people challenge me on my knowledge and challenge me on my consults, and I don't get too many people challenging on my, me on my consults, uh, because the amount of time I spend with people, I have not had a single one of them, with the exception of a couple of people who wanted me to be their mentor. And I told them I'm not here to be your mentor. That's not a consultation. To go look up the definition of consultation. That's what I do. I help people who have serious problems. I have one young lady who had a court date and we were working on her documents and gave her the documents she needed. And I gave her several solutions and one of them she says, hey, no, I can't do that one. And then she just told me, well, I really don't want to do that one. And I had to let her know, well, look, here, it's not my fault whether you want to do or not do. Okay, I'm just telling you what you have the right to do. I'm telling you what I would do if I was in your shoes. Her choice. She still had five more options to choose from. I give people at least seven different options so that that can happen. So that you don't just have one option and, man, that's, all, that's the only option I got. I don't do that to people. And I back up everything I say. That's why the consults last as long as they do. I mean, we will never go past three hours ever again. Three hours is the limit. Three hours is the limit. Sorry, I had to do that because it was really cutting into a lot of my health. We'll let you guys know that um, there are several things that I need to inform you of, and I'm glad I'm taking the time in this video to do so. The organization known as DataMass, as I said, I don't run DataMass, but DataMass is handling the recording of your credits because nobody else will do it for you. Now, pretty soon, everybody else is going to be doing it, but DataMass is the only one who's going to have the experience. Go ahead. Everybody done tried talking to all of these tax agents and everything to do it for them, and they wouldn't do it. So we created DataMass. But everybody's thinking DataMass is going to do their taxes for them. No, you're not paying DataMass to do your taxes. That would make them tax preparers. That's a whole different ballgame. No, you're only paying DataMass to document certain things for you so that you can incorporate them in your credits, so you can incorporate them in your taxes. I'm so glad that I finally got that taken care of. Now, many of you guys do not know anything about how to document certain things and what forms they're to be documented on, so DataMass will do it for the most relative forms that are necessary under the prescribed regulations. That's Datamass, datamass.org, D-A-T-A-M-A-S.org. Okay, then there is the other programs. Ladies and gentlemen, the mega program will probably end right about December 31st. And the reason why the mega pack program will end, because we, we are a trust organization, but we're going to live on our trust. We're going to hold on to the fact that we created these trusts for people. We created the SAP packs. We created the credits for people. Nobody else was doing that. Go and see if there's any other organization out there creating credits for people. Go ahead. I dare you. Go find another organization who's doing anything close to what we're doing. And I'll show you a copycat. I dare you. And then here we are. Now, I want you to pay attention to what we can claim that nobody else can. We have gotten more credits and offset more debts for people than any other organization including the stupid united states 
Oh no no nobody could nobody can come close to that because that four hundred billion dollar lawsuit. Please, that was ingenious, and I will promise I will say this for a fact. When I started out doing the lawsuit, I had no idea for the rest of you. I was already planning on writing it off because I know they ain't never going to pay me. That's what the IRS says. If you will never get a judgment in any court, then you can write this junk off. IRS Tax Topic 453. Remember, I'm the person who brought IRS Tax Topic 453 to y'all's attention. I did that. I did that. Okay. I brought that to y'all's attention for a reason, because I wasn't going to keep it to myself. The one thing I realized, you know, if I did one-on-ones, that's only between me and that person. The rest of you guys don't benefit. Now, in 2012, I had a lot of the so-called gurus who were around back then who were not happy with me. Because most of the information they were teaching you guys and charging you to come learn from them, I was giving you guys for free. And they were getting mad at me because I was digging into their pockets. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a rule. You shouldn't have to pay for knowledge. None of us are the masters of knowledge. None of us invented or created anything mentally. Everything that has been done has been done. There is nothing new under the sun. Literally, you must understand that. Nothing on this planet, nothing that is happening is new. Everything has happened before. Oh, I just, it feels like I've been through this before. Do I need to call Tina Marie? Okay, deja vu. That's also uh, Dion Warwick. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the master of any knowledge. I just know that once I start talking about it, somebody who's either thought about it, heard about it, or was envisioning it, go, ding, 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 ding. Man, that's it. I did it. I listened to somebody's video the other day, and he said something. I'm like, wait a minute. That's it, you know? I, I don't know the young man because it was something completely different than what we're talking about now. But I do know that what he said was enough for me to remember something from years ago and bing, 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 go ahead and let everybody else know. So I know I do that for a lot of people. That's the reason why I started doing this. So there are a lot of people who are jealous of me. And there are a lot of people who are jealous for me. I don't want anybody being jealous associated with me at all. My future wife, yes, she, by all means, can be jealous for me and of me, and nobody will ever be able to say anything wrong with that. Okay? That's just the way it is. However, and no, none of you are her. Okay? She ain't, she don't listen to these videos. Uh, just like I knew what was coming, I know that that's coming. So I just have to be patient. And I'm in the area where she is. Other than that, I wouldn't have moved to this area. So just trust me that everything is on track. Nothing has been off track. And for those of you who find it hard to believe, that's too bad. Before COVID even came, and that wasn't that's a precursor. That's not the actual pandemic. That was a joke compared to what I saw. That's a precursor. But all this violence you see coming, I promise you it's gonna get fifty times worse. Sorry, that causes me a whole lot of stress because I didn't believe it. When, even when I imagined and envisioned it, I couldn't believe it. Before the police even started getting these military vehicles, we knew they had the batter ram and everything for Los Angeles, so we knew they were had some style military vehicles. But before they started getting these real military vehicles, I mean, these armor-piercing bullets and everything that they're going to start using in these uh, rocket-propelled grenades and all of this that they're going to start using... On a regular basis, as one person and I were talking about in Texas, when they took that robotic dog, had it go up to a guy who was barricaded in the house, had a bomb on the dog, and blew up the dog, the house, and the guy who was barricaded. When the police did that, that marked the end for any type of due process regarding policing. Ladies and gentlemen, the police have no right no right to assassinate someone. Go ahead. Go and read any law and tell me where the police has a right to, when their lives are not directly in danger to assassinate someone. But they were allowed to do it in that incident and nobody spoke up. Not a single person spoke up about that. I don't care if he has two RA-17-15-165s. 
I don't care if he says I'm going to kill myself, my mama, my grandmama, and your father. I don't care. As long as he's not an immediate threat, the police cannot use lethal force. You guys must understand that's the law. That law changed that day. Go ahead and look it up. Police use robot dog to blow up a man. Barricaded in the house. You'll find it. Ever since that happened, this is where we are. When they said, you want to defund the police? Well, we're going to withdraw our police from the street. Yeah, we'll show you what defunding the police is. Now y'all defend yourselves. That's what they did in Los Angeles. That's why you see crime going up. That's why you see the police response time is now 15 minutes, 28 minutes, 45 minutes, two hours, one day, three days. Go ahead. Tell me if it hasn't been experienced in your community, if you have not had people calling 911 and getting no response. That's what's going to lead to the time that I told you about. I'm 100% positive of that one. Because it's intentional, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> what can you do? What can you say? So let's get back to the purpose of this video. There are a lot of people out there who, like I said, they have a lot to say. And I personally, you haven't heard me say anything about them or to anyone, and I'm not going to. There, there has been no specific case, no specific person or anything like that. I just don't have time for it. I'm not here to get more views. See, you guys don't understand. I don't advertise my videos. I don't do it on purpose. If you need the information, you'll find your way here. And go ahead. Every last one of you who are listening to this video at this moment, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you did not find this because you were looking for specific information. And once you got here, tell me how many videos you binge watched. I'm not doing that to pat myself on the back. I'm doing that to say this was prepared for you. The information was prepared for you, tailored for you. You just had to find it because you didn't know what you needed at first. But once you got here, you're like, oh, God, it's too much information. Tell me I'm wrong. So in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can get rid of these shells and these nuts all at the same time. The information is there, ain't no charge for you. Everybody talks about paying this and paying that and mentoring this, mentoring that. We don't do that around here. Give me one other second, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it this way. I have memory problems, which makes this even more fascinating than you can possibly know. For how can I retain all of this information and still claim to have memory problems when it sounds like I know so much? The amount of information I have now is probably 15% of what I had prior to the operation. None of you knew me before the operation that happened in 1989, December 4th. That's the day I went into the hospital, December 4th, 1989. I believe I was the age of 20, going on 21, would have been 21 years old, less than 20 days later. But yet I spent my turning 21 in a coma, in a hospital bed, after a temperature of 126 degrees. But when I tell people I have brain damage as a result of that operation, and I have memory issues, they often try to use that as a crutch for their mistakes. They'll tell me that I didn't say something or they said something that never happened. And I'll tell them, and this is what you guys need to understand. If I say something, I'm only going to say it one way. I'm not going to say it 18 different ways from Sunday. I'm not going to slice and dice it that way. I'm always going to repeat it the same way. Why? Go listen to my videos and look at how I say things. That's how you'll know if it came from me. Because I'm, and people can make, try to make something sound like it came from me. <laughs> That's not how things work. Just like, okay, the Bible. That's right, I said Bible. Look at how many different versions of the Bible is out there. Okay. Well, they got their own interpretation. They wrote their own book and all. I hear people say stupid things like that all the time. 
Do you know how you can tell if it really is God's word? Because you can go back and find it someplace else in the Bible saying the exact same thing. He says that he has not changed. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not changed. That's the model I follow. That's why I try to say things exactly the way I said it before. That way if somebody comes up to me and tell me I said something, I'll say, no, I didn't say that. And there's no way in the world I would have said that. So I had that conversation with somebody this morning about something that was said. And the person said they sent me something. I said, no, you didn't. Because if you had sent me that, I would have made, he didn't know, but I would have made a mental note of it. I would have infringed it in my mind so that if it came back up, I said, yeah, 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 I remember that. But I couldn't say that this instance. But what he doesn't know is if I sit back and I focus on the conversation, I can remember every word. And in that situation, I focused on the conversation. I remembered everything that happened that day. And so I called him back and I said, I'm calling back to give you a piece of my mind. He started laughing. He says, no, I was going to let you know that you were right. No, don't you let me know that I was right. And I had to tell him, don't do that again. Our conversation was me letting them know exactly what led up to that conversation. Then he tried to get technical. Well, no, I told you this. I told you. That. I said, yes, but the conversation is about this. Ain't about that. Well, you're right. I know I'm right. Okay. People have been doing that ever since I said I have memory problems. Ladies and gentlemen, my memory problems, it's not that. I have a memory, as you can tell. What I don't remember, and I want you to pay attention because this is hard for people to gather. I don't remember growing up. I don't remember being a child. I can't tell you what I looked like as a child. I only have bits and pieces of my past. I remember maybe five incidents of my entire childhood. If I remember more than two seconds per incident, I'm doing great. I don't remember my family. They are strangers to me, even to this present day. My mother, a stranger to me. Try living with that. So when you think you got it so bad, I got some shoes. They're size 13, so many of you should be able to fit them. Yeah, I know, I know they might be a little big for many of you, but you'd still be able to put your foot in them. Okay, and try walking around in my shoes. So stop looking at your life, thinking that you have it so bad. Look, I'm going to do this because it's, it's important that we end this video this way. Because it's important. We're going to go back, y'all. Back. Back in the time. And we're going all the way back. Not here. This ain't the first one. Ah, this is the first one, y'all. We're going to go back in the time. I got one thing I need to show y'all, then we're going to let y'all get on out of here. Let me tell you, this song wasn't going in this direction when I first wrote it. You know, people always say, to be honest with you, that's how this song was going. When somebody says something stupid like, to be honest with you, no, lie to me, because that's normally my response. No, lie to me. But then I did the Ray Charles, if I could, the song. You're better off with, with me. You're better off with me than without me. I was actually saying that about my son's mother. Because she went out there to try to find me. She married somebody who was my same height, same size, same expression, same face. Pretty much, he could have been my twin. There are only some slight differences between he and I. Okay, and she took my seed. Okay, and she had a unique imagination. Then I took it away from that, and I brought it to me no I'm sorry this was still her I thought she was very beautiful inside and out and I was wrong because really it's not even skin deep it, all men are dogs what's your excuse because she was a dog she was an extreme disappointment and everybody thought she was a beautiful woman everybody was trying to take her from me because they thought she was so beautiful but I realized it wasn't her it was all me See, I'm better off with me. I didn't need all of them to make me, me be me. Can you imagine me? I 
You see, I bring a whole lot more to the table. Okay. Do you see that right there? All I can say is I like this a lot. So there you go. Just so you guys can understand all of those videos, everything I've been through, it literally has led to this song right here. Believe it or not. I put everything, all of the issues in one song. See? It's so hard to say goodbye, you know the song? Boys to men. In all honesty, the love we had was good. I thought it was, but now I lost it. And I ain't mad, in all honesty. I'm better off without her. And I hope some of you guys can come to that very same conclusion. You can't trust anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, even when we have an imagination, we're lying to ourselves because an imagination is not truth. It's a fantasy. And a fantasy is a lie. It's a fallacy. Don't you understand? So we're always lying to ourselves, so we're never honest. It's an unreality. It's a misnomer. So when you say in all honesty, oh, to be honest with you, that's a misnomer. Because it doesn't mean anything. Okay? So when it says if I could, I would, you know, if I would do it all over again, no, I wouldn't. All right, gotta go, y'all. Just wanted to explain the song. Like I said, probably one of the best ones I've done. Gotta go. Take care. I'd rather you lie In all honesty It hurts to see you cry